Hello everyone. So in this video we will be discussing our next portion of module 3 that was normal distribution. This is a simple graph of a standard normal distribution in which the area of for the 0 between 0 to infinity is 0 0.5 and between 0 to minus infinity is also 0 0.5. So what is a normal distribution? Uh, if we assume a continuous random variable x to follow a normal distribution and uh, it would follow a normal distribution only if its probability density function would be given by this formula that is fx equals to 1 by sigma root over of 2 to the 2 pi into e to the power minus x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square x ranges from minus infinity to infinity, mu ranges from minus infinity to infinity and sigma is greater than 0. Symbolically, x follows normal distribution with parameters as mu and sigma. Now, if we put mu as 0 and sigma as 1, it would become a standard normal distribution and hence uh, f x would be replaced by z, f would be replaced by phi and the formula would turn out to be phi of z is equals to 1 by root over of 2 pi into e to the power minus z square by 2. In these cases, we replace z, uh, we write z as x minus mu divided by sigma. Mean of the normal distribution is mu and variance of the normal distributions is sigma square. Now let us see an example. Uh, in the question it is given that the marks obtained by a number of students in certain subject are approximately normally distributed with mean as 65 and standard deviation as 5. So we have been given mu and sigma square that is 65 and 5. Uh, 5 square since variance is sigma square and standard deviation has been given so variance is square of the standard deviation so sigma square would be 25 now it's given that if three students are selected at random from this group what is the probability that at least one of them would have scored above 75 so let us uh, see the solution if x represents the marks obtained by students then x would follow a normal distribution with the parameters mu that is 65 and 5 that is only the sigma now the probability of a student scores above 75 so it would be p of x greater than 75 we had seen above that we replace z with x minus mu divided by sigma so in this also since x was greater than 75 we have written that z is greater than 75 but is less than infinity so we have applied that uh, change of origin and we have got this so it became as p of z is greater than 2 but less than infinity we can see from this graph that if we want the area between 2 to infinity we can get it from 0 0.5 minus uh, between 0 to 2 so we applied that and we can see from the table of areas to get the value of probability between 0 to 2 so for that we have to check the zeros column there would be numbers written from 0 to something and 0 to here so we'll check the zeros column and 2's row and we'll put that value and we'll subtract it from 0 0.5 and we get the answer as 0 0.0228 now p is equals to we got the success value that was of a probability of greater than 75 as 0 0.0228 and uh, we follow a binomial distribution in this and we get the value of q which is 1 minus p and we get this value n is equals to 3. Now we uh, follow the binomial distribution and uh, applying the formula we get the answer as 0 0.0667. As an exercise you can solve this question and try to know how much you have learned from this video. In this question it has been given that in an engineering exam a student is considered to have failed, secured second class, first class and distinction according as he scores between 45%, 45 to 60, 
60 to 75 and above 75. So if a particular year 10% students failed, which means that they guess they get less than 45 and 5% student got distinction, which means that they scored above 75. So find the percentage of students who have got first class and second class. So as a hint, I have given that probability of X less than 45 was 0 0.10 and uh, probability of X written than 75 is 0 0.05. And if we solve the two equations we get from this, we'll get the values of sigma and mu and we can put that in uh, to find the probability between 60 to 75. And the answer would be 47 approximately. Thank you.